Hey guys, it's Aaron, and in this story time, I'm going to be telling you guys a story that happened back in like the late 80s, early 90s, I can't remember, but it was a time when my grandma and my dad and his side of the family were attacked by some crazy killer person. And yeah, so like a few years ago, I found out from the story because a few years ago, I, I went up to my dad and asked him, what was the scariest experience that you have ever gone through? Because it was near Halloween and I wanted to know some scary experiences from both my parents and my dad's story was a bit crazy and intriguing so yeah it was a bit crazy and it really caught my attention so yeah I just want to share it with you guys because it was certainly one of the crazy ones and certainly scary as well if I was there I mean obviously it wasn't alive back in the 80s but yeah I would probably been scared too so yeah let's just get on with the story guys so back in like the late 80s my grandma had to live as a single mom because she found out that her husband was kind of like a playboy or whatever like he was actually like cheating on her with like seven other women and he was having sex with all those other women as well and yeah it was a bit disgusting but yeah she did find out eventually and she ended up breaking up with him and she pretty much had to live as like a single mom for the rest of her life she still is single by the way so yeah <clears throat> sorry so yeah as she was like living as a single mom there was this one neighbor that she had and they would always get into arguments. Like, they would argue, like, every single day about random stupid shit all the time. And it happened for, like, a straight month where they would always, like, argue over, like, really stupid shit. Like, they really freaking hated each other. Like, they would argue every single day. But I think at one point, my grandma just completely lost it. And she was like, okay, you know what? Fuck you, you stupid bitch. I do not want to see you ever again. I'm tired of dealing with your goddamn bullshit every single day. Like, just get out of my face. Get out of my life. I don't ever want to see you again. And then she just freaking turns around and walks away back to her apartment. And she's like a freaking boss. And yeah, she just slams the door. But I think that kind of drove that neighbor a little bit crazy. Because that's kind of when she lost it. And was just like, yeah, I need to kill this dumb bitch somehow. So yeah, and that's what she pretty much did for like, the next few days. She was planning out how to kill my grandma and the entire family. So yeah, a few, a few days later, it was around nighttime, and my grandma like gets like a knock on the door, and then when she opens the door, it's that neighbor. And yeah, she's acting like a bit strange as well because because behind her was this man, and he was like standing there like this all honestly, and he was holding a knife as well, so that kind of like struck danger nearby, but. But at the same time, my Uncle Charlie, he's coming through, and he's like, Grandma, or not Grandma, Mom, are you okay? Like, is there something wrong? And, and then she, then Charlie, like, turns this way, and he sees that man behind her, and he's, like, still holding that knife in that ominous position. And he's like, oh, boy, I think I need to deal deal with this. And But then his mom is just like, no, 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 Charlie, 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 stay back. I, I got this. I, I can deal with that. I don't want you getting into any danger. But Charlie was just like, no, Ma, I got this, I got this. And then he didn't even, like, listen to her. He just, like, walked outside to, just towards that that strange, crazy man with that knife. Like, he was ready to freaking start a fight. And, yeah, and yeah, his sister, Rachel, was pretty much following him as well, even though he didn't really know that. He, she just wanted to, like, protect him in case something crazy happened. Like, she, like he accidentally got stabbed in the face, and she would, like, try to save him or whatever. But, yeah, as Charlie was, like, walking up to him, he... That man just, like, pretty much, like, snaps out from that position. And he just starts, like, hoo -yah, hoo -yah, hoo -yah, hoo -yah. He just moves that knife in a circle like that. Like, he was freaking ready to attack. Like, he was, like, freaking, like, Liu Kang from Mortal Kombat. And he was, like, freaking, like, he was, like, Liu Kang his ass right now. But, yeah, at the same time, my Uncle Charlie, he is a pretty badass person. Like, he's a strong person. He got into a lot of fights as a kid, but he pretty much won every single fight. So, he's, like, a strong, strong kid, you know? So, he pretty much, like, like knows his self-defense, he knows his attacks, he pretty much knows everything as well. So, yeah, as he's like, so, so as he's, that man's like, -ya, -ya, that that's when he, like, he's like, -ya. Yeah. and as he's, like, about to, like, stab him right in the face, Charlie's just like, Hoo. he's like, not today, sir, and then the knife just like, ends up going right through his arm, and it's like, and Charlie's pretty much saved himself from getting stabbed right in the face, but then that guy's like, oh, damn it, so then he, like, pulls that knife out and stabs him right in the shoulder, and then, yeah, that's what pretty much, like, stops Charlie. He just, like, gets on the ground. He's like, oh, shit. And, yeah, he starts running towards the, the apartment building. And that's when Rachel's like, no, dude, stop, stop, stop. We don't mean any harm. But, yeah, since Rachel was in the way, that's when the guy stabs her right in the stomach. Except he was, she was kind of, like, internal bleeding. Where, where meanwhile, Charlie was, like, bleeding out from his arm and shoulder. And, yeah, that 
So that wound pretty much hurt for her as well because, well, obviously, but yeah. She ended up, like, like falling onto the floor. She had to, like, crawl her way, like, back to the apartment with her with her mom and the other people. And then that's when, like, like Rachel and Chad, like, run back as fast as they could, even though they were, like, both wounded really badly. They had to, like, run back to the apartment, to their apartment. And that's when, like, my dad comes and he's like, what the hell is going on? Like, like all he sees is, like, Charlie freaking bleeding. Rachel's, like, on the floor, like, kind of like, oh, oh. And his baby sister, Alana's, like, freaking bawling her eyes out and gra And his mom is just, like, freaking, like, screaming her head off right now. And that's when he sees this man just, like, running, like, towards the front door. And that's when he's like, oh, shit, I need, we need to close this front door, like, now. And that's when, like, him, Charlie, and Rachel are trying to, like, freaking, like, close the door, I guess, to, like, prevent him from going inside. But as he's, they're, like, trying to, like, close the door, that's when the man's just, like, nope. And he's, like, stops them. And he's, like, trying to, like, stab him for, like, the door, like, you know, he's, like, like, stops him. And they're, like, mm, 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 mm. You know, he's, like, trying to, like, stab him from, like, the outside. Where he's, like, trying to, like, no, I must stab you guys each one by one. Mm. And as they're trying to, like, freaking do that, the lady, the lady, crazy neighbor lady, is just freaking laughing her head off right now, saying, ah, ha, ha, yes, 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 kill them, kill them all, I don't want to see them dumbasses ever again, ha, <laughs> ha. But yeah, after, like, five, like, streamers is, like, trying to, like, cl like force the door shut and, like, like, get his arm, like, out from, like, the crack of the door, and, and he's, like, still trying to freaking stab them all. They're able to, like, get his arm, like, out, and then, yeah, that's when they're able to, like, shut the door and lock it. And that's when... And that's when they're all like, oh my god. And then my dad turns around and he sees, like, freaking Charlie like, bleeding out from his arm and shoulder. Like, okay, yeah, we need to get you to a hospital. And then Rachel's like, I'm stabbed too. And then my dad's like, no, you're not. And then she's like, yes, I did. And she's like, yeah, right. And that's when Rachel's like, lifts up her shirt like that. And, and then there's, like, this whole stab hole that's, like, this big or whatever. And it was, like, in her, and it was, like, in her, like, belly as well. Like, she was, her stomach. And, yeah, it wasn't bleeding. She was, like, internally bleeding. But, yeah, it was... That pretty much, like, got my dad's attention. Okay, yeah, these both need to go to the hospital. And as they're about to call 911, that's when the killer starts freaking kicking, starts trying to freaking kick the door down. They're like, okay, this guy's trying to freaking kick the door down. He's gonna kick the door down. He's gonna freaking stab us all. Like, I don't know what the hell we're gonna do. Like, we're freaking doomed. But yeah, as my... But yeah, as we're, like, about to, like, okay, we're all gonna die, that's when a miracle happened. And that's when they hear cop cars. Like, they hear, like, the, like, the little... Woo! Car police car alarm going off and that's kind of like what stopped the guy from like kicking the door down and he's like oh shit I need to get out of here and he like freaking like runs the fuck away because I think someone else heard heard the little witness thing and they freaking called 911 as one because they saw like like a boy and a girl like getting stabbed and he, and he just sees this guy just like yeah, 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 like with that knife thing you know that's what pretty much like, got him to run away and then that crazy lady, lady neighbor is like well, I gotta go away as well, because I don't want to get in trouble. So she, like, freaking, like, run next to her apartment building and pretends like she's, like, sleeping or whatever. Like, she doesn't know what the hell is going on. So, yeah, as the cops were there, she, they were investigating the situation, and Charlie and Rachel went to the hospital for, like, a week or, or so. I can't remember how long they were there for. But, yeah, they both survived. Luckily, they're okay now. And, you know, as the police guys were investigating there, they asked, they had the question that, the crazy neighbor lady and she was just like, I don't know, I don't know what they're talking about. They're crazy. I don't I never plan on killing anyone. You know, so unfortunately they couldn't really arrest her because they didn't really have any proof that she set up the entire thing. So yeah, that kind of pissed off my grandma as well. Cause she's like, no, no, arrest her. She's crazy. But yeah, they couldn't arrest her because yeah, they didn't have any proof that that crazy neighbor set up the entire thing. But yeah, my grandma did move after that because she didn't want to deal with her BS again. And also what's scary as well is that the guy who tried stabbing my uh, Charlie and Rachel, both my uncle and an aunt, so that he has not been caught yet, and he is still on the run as well, so he's probably, like, like running around stabbing other people like crazy as well, so, yeah, he has never been caught yet, and the police are probably still looking for him, but, yeah, that's the crazy thing, is that he has never been caught yet, and he's still on the front somewhere, like, he's probably hiding somewhere, like, yeah, he's never been caught, that's, like, this pretty scary thing, so, who knows, hopefully he doesn't see this video, because I don't want him to kill me, but... Yeah, that was pretty much the end of the entire story time. It was a bit crazy that some guy tried killing my grandma and and Rachel and Charlie. I mean, it, it didn't get to my dad, luckily. It didn't get to Alana either because, you know, it was a bit crazy as well for them. Because, I mean, even though they didn't get stabbed, it was still a scary experience to see to see this guy trying to kill everyone and to see Charlie and Rachel lying on the floor, like, wounded. And it was just scary. But at the same time, it is New York, and back then New York was, like, Pretty much like a giant crime zone for everyone because there was always a like, crooks running around and they did live in like a ghetto neighborhood so crimes did happen there a lot 
So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little story time about some crazy guy trying to kill my grandma and everyone else. And yeah, if you did, make sure you comment, rate, subscribe. I'll make another story time soon, and I'll see you guys next time.